This is Sittingbourne's Old Town Cemetery in Bell Road. Just behind me is this small area reserved for soldiers, sailors and airmen from the Second World War. Among them is one that particularly catches the eye, that of Willem Goth or Willem Goethe. This is a brief account of the story of Willem Goethe, an RAF pilot who'd made a long and eventful journey to be buried here in Sittingbourne in the later days of the Battle of Britain. He died on the 25th of October 1940 when his hurricane crashed into woods near Marden. He was part of 501 Squadron based at Kenley in Surrey defending South London. Wilhelm Goethe was born in Brno in Czechoslovakia or the Czech Republic as it now is in 1915. He joined the Czech Air Force in 1934 and was determined to become a pilot. He completed his training as a fighter pilot in 1937. Following the Munich Agreement, Czechoslovakia began to be dismembered and by March 1939 Nazi Germany controlled most of the country and the Czech Air Force was disbanded. Many Czech servicemen wanted to fight the German occupation of their country but realised they would need to leave to join up with free forces elsewhere. Rumours circulated that free Czech forces were assembling in Poland. Gert, with a number of friends, smuggled themselves at night into Poland in an empty coal train, despite the watch of German guards and searchlights at the border. In southern Poland they met up with other Czechs, but initially found that Poland would not allow free Czech forces to operate there, at risk of provoking German retaliation. The next plan was to get to France, where a Czech government in exile had an agreement with France and they may have a chance to enlist. However, a condition set for this was that while at peace, all foreign recruits had to join the French Foreign Legion. Goethe was among nearly 400 Czech servicemen who took a sea passage from Poland to Calais, arriving on the 31st of July 1939. In France, preparations began for them to be transferred to the Foreign Legion base in Algeria. But on September the 3rd, before their departure, France declared war on Germany. The Czech pilots were then able to enlist in the French Air Force and began training to fly French fighters in preparation for the expected German attack. When it came in May 1940, Goethe was not yet part of an operational unit and did not get to fly in battle before France was overrun. At this point the foreign pilots were released by the French Air Force and many made their way to Bordeaux. Goethe was among those of various nationalities who evacuated by ship and arrived in Falmouth just as France surrendered on June the 22nd. In England he was accepted into the RAF Volunteer Reserve and posted to a newly formed Czechoslovak Squadron 310 based at RAF Duxford and flying Hurricane Mark 1s. After rapid training in Hurricanes and English lessons, the squadron became operational and flew its first mission on August the 18th. By this time the war in the air was well engaged. Luftwaffe raids had been a regular occurrence since early July. In early September, the Luftwaffe changed tactics to attack London rather than airfields. On the 7th of September, a large formation of Luftwaffe planes, bombers and fighter escorts were detected approaching the Thames estuary. Gert and 310 Squadron were part of the Duxford Wing of three squadrons led by the legendary pilot Wing Commander Douglas Bader, who were sent to confront the raiders before they reached London. They engaged the Luftwaffe near the Isle of Sheppey. A number of German planes were destroyed and Gert was credited with shooting down two of them. His aircraft was damaged in the engagement and the engine failed, but he managed to glide it down to the Essex shore, crash land and escape unhurt. Many of his colleagues were not so fortunate. Fifteen RAF pilots were reported killed or missing that day. RAF losses were accumulating 
and many fighter squadrons were short of pilots. On the 18th of October, Gert and a Czech colleague were posted to RAF Kenley to strengthen the rosters of 501 Squadron. It proved to be a short posting. On the 25th of October, Willem Gert was patrolling with the squadron over Tenterton. Enemy raiders were in the area and the squadron was manoeuvring to attack a German formation. In the process, Gert and another pilot collided. The other pilot, Ken McKenzie, managed to bail out and parachute to safety, but Gert wasn't able to escape before his plane crashed in Bridgehurst Woods between Marden and Staplehurst. A salvage and recovery team, probably from RAF Detling, recovered his body and he was brought to Sittingbourne's Bell Road Cemetery on the 31st of October, where he was buried. The Battle of Britain was coming to an end at this time and German plans for an invasion of Britain had been abandoned as they had failed to win air superiority. 501 Squadron had lost 19 pilots, the most of any RAF squadron during this time. 20% of Battle of Britain pilots were from overseas and 88 Czechoslovaks are recorded on the RAF Battle of Britain Roll of Honour. It was not until after the so-called Velvet Revolution in 1989 that Czechs who had fought against Germany in the RAF were fully recognised in their own country for their bravery and service. In 1991 Willem Goethe was posthumously promoted to the rank of Colonel and a street was named in his honour in his hometown. His name is on Battle of Britain memorials at Caper Laferne, Hendon, Duxford and Westminster. Sittingbourne Cemetery contains the graves of other pilots from the Second World War, but probably none had made such a long and arduous journey to fight for their country and the RAF as had Willem Goethe.